Hi, Gemma here from Calligraphy Gems. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing when to stop being productive. This video is just as much a reminder for me as I hope it helps you. I think we all could do with a reminder that productivity isn't everything and that sometimes it's better to stop. I thought it would be an interesting video idea as there's a lot of videos out there about how to be more productive rather than when to take a step back from being productive. So that is what today's video is all about. I found it really interesting analysing when people should stop being productive and thinking about instances I'm guilty of this too. So I hope you found it helpful. Let's jump into reason number one. Reason number one is when you're ill. This may seem like common sense, but I'm not just talking about working when you have the flu. I'm on about instances where maybe you are really fatigued or you're suffering with a headache or you just don't feel quite right, quite 100%. I sometimes find that I feel physically run down and yet I keep attempting to tick something off of my to-do list. And not only do I think that's unhealthy, but it was also really unproductive. I'm inefficient because I'm not feeling myself. It's just not healthy, you're allowed to stop and it's important if you're ill to rest. Not just physically, but mentally as well. Allow yourself some time to recover. Another reason is that you're feeling overwhelmed. When you're overwhelmed, it's easy to feel like that is the absolute worst time to stop. A lot of the time though, that's the wrong attitude. I mean, it may be that you have a temporary problem and that the issue will eventually resolve itself. In general though, taking a break helps you to take a step back and act with logic rather than emotion and reprioritize whether that involves dropping stuff or juggling stuff about, but it's very hard to have clarity unless you give yourself time and a breather. This video was actually spurred on by a hard time that I was having last year. I was definitely suffering with burnt out and I just felt very exhausted. I actually phoned my mum in tears. I said, mum, I just feel so exhausted and tired and I can't stop crying and I don't know what to do. And she said, Gemma, stop. <laughs> Stop what you're doing and take a day off. She said, take a day off to relax, wear cozy pajamas and watch comfort films and allow yourself to eat some junk food and just enjoy a day off, just, just chill. On the second day, plan out what you would like to do and reprioritize. And then on day three, you should be feeling more refreshed and you can actually jump into action. And in some ways it seems so simple, but I think sometimes you need someone to tell you to stop when you're feeling overwhelmed. When you're feeling overwhelmed, it's those little tasks that will inevitably end up frustrating you to no end. And when you're feeling angry or frustrated or cry because of some little inconvenience, that's probably a time that you need to take a step back. I've actually taken this advice on board recently as well and took a break before jumping into my role as a full-time calligrapher as I was definitely suffering with some burnout. So I think this is quite a common one for people. Take a breath, it's okay. So as a reminder, step one is to actually take a breather, step two is to plan and step three is to jump back in when you're refreshed. Another reason is that you're doing it for someone else. Now, I have people in my life that inspire me and I admire their ability to just keep on going. But you know what? Everyone is different. Think of it like a physical activity. If you and some of your friends are running together, people are inevitably going to tire out at different rates. And I think the same principle applies to productivity. Only you know how you're actually feeling and you can base it upon your own needs, your levels of energy and not someone else's. Another reason to stop being productive is that you're not actually sure why you're attempting to be productive. Sometimes it's just a bad habit. Now some people may say, what do you mean it's a bad habit to be productive? I'm on about attempting to be productive when you should be letting either your brain switch off or focusing completely. Habits such as having the TV on and trying to work on something at the same time, do one or the other. When you want to watch TV, let yourself watch TV. When you're feeling productive, you should actually work and not have the TV on in the background. Call yourself out on this. Now, I'm super guilty of it too, so I know it's hard. 
sometimes when I really need that relaxation, I leave my phone or my laptop out of arm's reach so that I can't mindlessly scroll or attempt to be productive and just enjoy what I'm doing at the time. Another reason is that you've picked it up from a culture somewhere. Now I'm not necessarily on about, you know, your nation, although it could be that. It could also be picked up in a work environment. So an example I like to use is university. I studied business and management at university and it is drilled into you from day one that you need to be doing extracurriculars and you need to be doing those to be able to get a decent placement year and you need to do lots on your placement year to be able to get a decent graduate scheme and you need to do a graduate scheme to get into a corporate position in some fancy company and you need to just keep going and keep going and keep going and there's kind of almost no end in sight really you want a flashy cv so you can show people how successful you are whatever successful means and i think sometimes it's important to take a step back and analyze what you actually want whether adding those extra things to your cv will actually bring you happiness or whether you're just doing it out of habit because you've picked it up from the culture that you were in i think kind of piggybacking on this idea of culture is you might be doing it to keep up a facade now i'm occasionally put off by instagram and linkedin linkedin in particular because i think that people tend to go on there to gloat now that might just be my interpretation but i just find it ingenuine and i wonder if people actually do these things because they want to do these things or because they believe it's what they should be doing so yeah the point of this one is do you actually want to be productive or have you picked it up from a culture that you're part of whether that's university or a work environment or maybe it's family who knows another reason is that you're scared of time running out now i know this might sound a bit morbid but it's not something that could be avoided a lot of the time people want to achieve a dream early on in their life so they spend all of their spare time working on it and not actually enjoying the smaller things in life that can be gained by stopping being productive all the time in your spare time and now a final reason and that is just that you don't want to do it you might be in a grumpy mood and that is fine i'm guilty of this one sometimes i will push myself to keep going even though i am a grumpy cow i push and push myself and guess what i end up more grumpy and yeah it's not worth keeping going if you are just not in the mood pushing yourself to work is probably not the solution i think the solution isn't always clear but pushing yourself to work on something is just likely to make you more irritable and stressed so take this from me don't work when you're grumpy it's okay to take a step back allow yourself to chill okay so i hope you found this video interesting i'm a bit of an oversharer but one of the reasons why i like to be so open is so that people who are going through the same thing feel a little bit less alone if you've enjoyed this video let me know and thank you for watching